guys, today's video is about guinea pig safe vegetables. Vegetables are an important part of a guinea pig's diet and they should get around 10-15% to of their body weight in veggies, which is around 1 cup per guinea pig. I color coded some of the veggies. Green means safe and yellow means safe but still needs some attention. Some watery veggies, such as lettuce, could cause stomach problems if they're fed in huge quantities or your guinea pigs aren't used to them. However, I listed them as green as I'm sure you all introduce your veggies very slowly. This isn't a comprehensive list of all vegetables that are out there, but I try to include all vegetables that I feed my guinea pigs or have heard of. So let's start with the veggies. First one on the list are carrots. They are high in sugar, so they shouldn't be fed in huge quantities, but they are a great source of energy. Some guinea pigs seem to really love them, mine aren't huge fans. Bell peppers are a great source of vitamin C and most guinea pigs love them. Make sure to remove the seeds. Yellow bell pepper has more vitamin C than green and red. Some guinea pigs seem to prefer the taste of a certain bell pepper color. Chicory. Make sure to remove the outer layer of leaves before you give it to your guinea pigs. Cucumber. A fresh and watery vegetable which most guinea pigs love. Could cause stomach problems if it's fed in huge amounts, but absolutely fine in moderation and, especially in summer, a tasty snack. Lettuce. There are so many different kinds of lettuce. Whether it's red leaf lettuce, green leaf lettuce, roman lettuce, radicchio or stem lettuce, most of them are fine for guinea pigs, even though roman lettuce is very high in calcium. Iceberg lettuce contains almost no nutrients, so this one isn't good guinea pig food and is generally not fed. However, iceberg lettuce is not poisonous for guinea pigs. That's one of these internet rumors that doesn't seem to go away. It has a very high water content and little nutrients, so it's not exactly healthy, can lead to an upset stomach if you feed lots of it, and other veggies simply provide a better nutritional value. It's basically water pretending to be a vegetable, but it's not going to kill your piggy if you accidentally feed a leaf. That doesn't mean that you should include it in their diet, but you also don't have to worry if you accidentally feed it. Fennel is a very filling and stomach friendly vegetable. Celery should be cut into very small pieces so that your guinea pigs don't choke on the strings. My guinea pigs refuse to eat it, but they love the little leaves. Beetroot should only be fed in small amounts and can change the color of your guinea pigs pee. Radish. Radish shouldn't be fed, but the leaves are a yummy snack for the piggies. Courgette or zucchini. Perfectly fine veggie. Kale. I've never fed it to my guinea pigs, but it seems to be okay as an once or twice a week kind of veggie. Eggplant. Everything that's green on the eggplant is poisonous and guinea pigs should only eat it when it's ripe, so very soft. A hard eggplant is poisonous, but a ripe eggplant can be pretty yummy according to Pebbles. Pumpkin. All pumpkins that can be eaten by humans can be eaten by guinea pigs too, as long as they're fresh. So you can't give your guinea pigs the jack-o'-lantern pumpkins, but you can give them pieces of the pumpkin you make pumpkin soup out of. Take out the seeds when you feed it and they're kind of high in sugar. Tomatoes. Technically not a vegetable, but I'm still including it on this list. Shouldn't be fed every day and the green parts are poisonous. Some guinea pigs don't react well to the acid, but my guinea pigs all agree that it's tasty. Now on to the yellow vegetables. Spinach. Not entirely healthy, not entirely unhealthy. Should be fed in very, very small amounts and not every day because of the calcium content. Kohlrabi. Kohlrabi, just like Chinese cabbage and broccoli, is one of these vegetables that can cause bloat if it isn't introduced slowly and very carefully. Once your guinea pig is used to it though, it usually can be fed without problems, as long as it's in moderation. Kohlrabi, Chinese cabbage and broccoli are one of these vegetables that people don't necessarily all agree on. I hope you enjoyed this list and see you guys next time!